I'm Pastor Julian, and this is Central's Devotion for today. I have to admit something to you. I've been bad. I'm a sinner. I've done evil things. I've done things that are reprehensible to God. But I know that you have too. And our devotion passage today helps us to understand the depths of God's love for you, even in the midst of sin. So let's take a look at the Epistle to the Romans, chapter 5, verses 6 to 8. The Apostle Paul writes, For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But... God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. That is just absolutely incredible. I mean, if we were to put ourselves in this position of, am I going to sacrifice and give my life up for someone else? That is a... That is a tough decision to make because that is the ultimate sacrifice to give your life up for someone else. And now think of maybe the, the, the nicest or best person that you know of in your life. Would you trade your life for theirs? Would you sacrifice your life so that they can live? I know I might do it for my wife and for my kids. I mean, that's like a no-brainer. Would I jump in front of a bullet for somebody? Sure. If somebody's shooting, I might. I'll. I will probably jump in front of a bullet. But that's not necessarily an educated decision. That's more of a reaction of me wanting to help somebody else without even thinking about it. I'm talking about thinking about it, having the opportunity to think about it because God thought about this. This isn't Christ jumping in front of a bullet for us. This isn't God saying. I want you to, to, to save them from this bullet. I, this is, we are steeped and really evil. Steeped in this sin and we're really evil. And so, he thought about it. And this is how he wanted to save us. That he decided, yes, I am going to die for you. I am going to send my one and only son to die for the sins of my people, my image bearers, who are so ungodly and sinful and weak. There's no possible way they can save themselves. There's only one way, and I'm going to do that. And he does it out of love. Could you imagine um, uh, taking a prisoner's uh, prison sentence for them and serving that out in prison? Someone who's done something evil. No, I can't imagine that. Um, think about someone on death row who who's about to go and be executed. And you say, hey, I'm going to take their place. I want them to live, and I am going to die in their place. No, you can't even imagine that. You can't imagine that. But Christ did that for you and for me out of love. The only righteous person there ever was sacrificed his life so that you and I can receive life. And God did this because he loves you. And now I want you to think about the depths of God's love today and every day because he loves you deeper and wider than you could ever imagine. God bless you.